What's up, y'all? So as you guys can tell by the caption, uh, I want to talk to y'all about why I chose the Dosh Charger Wide Body Scat Pack. I got to say the whole thing for the algorithm. It helps catch more. So I, why I chose the Dosh Charger Scat Pack Wide Body over the Honda Civic that I had. So let's get into it. So as you guys know or don't know, you will after this caption, I had a 2023 Honda Civic. Yeah, I chose that car for commuting. Um, it was like an in-between car. At the time, I had my truck, had my wife's van. Did not need a uh, sports car, but we did need something to move around a lot. My wife was driving a lot. We didn't want to put a lot of miles on her on her car. We didn't want to put a lot of miles on my truck. Um, so let's, we just wanted to look around for something. So I started looking around reviews. I've always had a Honda Civic. In the past, I've had like two or three Honda Civics. All amazing cars, all cars that uh, lasted me a long time, all cars that um, provided a lot of benefit for me when I was driving at like far commutes to work. And that's kind of what I was interested in getting. So I started looking at the reviews online and I found that the Honda Civic, uh, the new models look pretty good and they had really good features. So I started shopping around, went and did some test drives, fell in love with the, the 2023 models. To be specific, the 2023 Honda Civic hatchback was real, well, the one I really wanted. And then I found out about the trims on it. And I found that the one called the Sport Touring, Honda Civic Sport Touring, um, had tons of cool features. Had almost like some self-driving modes. Had a uh, great great gas mileage. Decent power. It was a little turbo four-cylinder. And it drove awesome. Badass. It was a 1.4 liter and I'll correct myself on the title, on the captions here if I'm wrong. 1.4 liter turbo cylinder. We ended up getting that car. I went and financed it. Um, interest rates were okay when I got it. I got that like in February of 2023. Or March around there. And it turned out to be a good car. Um, we started putting tons of miles on it. Uh, really good on gas mileage. I had a sport mode that you could put on there. You could feel a little bit more pep. But my wife started commuting less and less to work. Um, started working more from home. And the car itself started sitting a lot because I'm always in my truck because for, for my work and the van always for the kids, you know. So we started commuting, using that car less and less. It became a garage car, garage kept. Ended up having um, about 6,000 miles on it around... August, yeah. So we didn't have it long. Around August, we had like six thousand miles already on it. it. Just kept on sitting in the garage. Man, I was driving it. I started saying, you know what? I think it's time for me to get something a little bit more fun. So I started shopping around for cars. And if you watch my previous videos, I'll tell you what kind of cars I was interested in. Mainly sports cars. Um, I wanted to save some money, but I wanted to trade that car in. So it was a 2023, low miles. I mean, high miles for a 23. If you if you consider that. Um, it is high miles for a one year car and or a few months. And I wanted to look at uh Corvette, two door cars, Corvette, Camaro, Challengers, and I just kept on coming back to the needing more room. And of course I have a truck and my truck still has a lot of room for everybody, but I wanted something that can have fun and, and bring the kids with me when I feel like driving the fun car, right? So it left me with fewer options there. And of course, I wanted to look at the Hellcat, but the, it was a little bit on my price range at the time because I wasn't a rollover, a little bit of negative equity on this Honda Civic. I, I tried looking around at different places and finding a spot that would take me like right at what I owed, but none of them wanted to. So I had to roll over like a couple, a couple grand of equ negative equity on the trade. And I found this beautiful Dodge Charger at the time when I was looking for Dodge Charger uh, wide bodies. I couldn't find any, man. They were all gone or some of the places were really high marked at a current time you can find some good deals right now what i'm seeing online but at the time i couldn't find no good deals i finally found something in austin this fit all my needs had all the trim all the cool seats had a sunroof like my uh, honda civic did uh all the bells and whistles but yeah so i traded that in now the honda civic was awesome if you guys if i get two comments about the honda civic and, and want to know more about it i'll go test drive it and do a video on it because i wish i would have started the youtube car channel at that time because the honda civic had everything had a awesome leather 
nice interior details. All the parts felt real quality, real high detail. I mean, for what you're getting, it was a 32. So I got the Honda Civic at uh, MSRP, 32 grand. But they were adding these crap features of like um, interior protection plan and all this crap. I could not get them to um, take that off. And, and I should have fought a little harder. But I wanted a new car. And I just went for what they told me. And I tried to get the best deal I could. And I didn't put any money down. So it worked out. My payment was really low for that Honda Civic after all. So I got it for 32 grand. My payment was like around 500 a month. Low interest rate at the time. And. I just went for it, but I got bored of that car. Needless to say, I got the scat pack, the wide body. This is way more fun. It is still garage kept. I don't drive it every day, and it's a badass car, man. It's just more fun, more to do. Everybody loves it. My kids love it. We can have uh, more room to be comfortable in this car. Uh, trips are more fun in this car. It's honestly a better car in general. The only negative side effect compared to the Honda, to be honest, is... The gas mileage. The Honda, dude, you hardly ever pump. And this thing, I'm at, if I'm driving it a lot, I'm pumping gas a lot. But other than that, I didn't get this car for gas mileage. So that's really not a big negative. And I don't drive it that often for it to be a problem for me. So, yeah, that's why I got this car. If y'all are in a similar predicament where you have a, a car that's great, but you're not using it all the time. And you're thinking about getting a sports car, muscle car, man, I'm telling you, I highly recommend doing it i do not regret it at all uh, of course i got a higher payment but at the end of the day do what's best for you man do what's best for you we only live once um i say that keep you know all your um important things and, and, and you know all, factor everything into your decision like all your bills and stuff like that don't do something reckless where you're not gonna be able to afford it but it, uh I, I highly recommend it man don't i did it i didn't look back it's just a good car it's fun um, everybody in my family life. Exit. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Man, the channel's growing. We are almost at 300 subs. I'm going to keep making some more content. It feels weird making content and then slowing down just because, uh, man, I was popping content left and right for a little while, but then I got busy with work. So I'm still trying to do at least a video a week. I'm um, going to shoot for more, but at least one video a week. Um, I'm going to shoot for at least two a week, but uh, I, ideally two a week and at least one a week on a, on a slower week. So I'm going to keep pumping out more content. I've got some more cars here coming up pretty soon, something more in my collection. I'm going to start showing you all more of them, not just a charger. I think y'all are going to be interested in some of that stuff. So thanks for watching this video. Please stay tuned. This is Zero Limits, Andrew XLZ, tuning out.